Hello! Hi everybody! I'm back and welcome to Wilkie's Not Tech Wednesday that isn't Wednesday, it's Tuesday. I'm very sorry I've been away. I've had an absolute chaotic time of work. As soon as the summer comes, everybody wants to eat quiche. I don't get it. So I've literally been, had my head almost falling off to the point at which I've been going a little bit... Um, <laughs> so anyway, but I'm back. And I thought, as I've been away for a while, I'll do you a special bonus vid. Bonus! I, like, I need to do like one of them super voices like, bonus vid! Um, so, wanted to do a couple of things for you today. Firstly, has anybody ever seen a banana quite this big? I mean, it is huge. Makes a man feel quite adequate. And also, because I obviously, as I've been away, I wanted to do something, because it's not Wednesday and I'm trying to toy about with how to build this network series, I'm genuinely making notes, and I don't make notes on anything. So... I just wanted to do a quick, like, sort of, I bought a limited edition thing today and I wanted to share it with you, as I'm sure if you see my post you know what it is. As I say, I've been a first person shooter for my entire gaming, well not my entire gaming career, because I started gaming when I was like five on a BBC Master. Yes, on the boy processor 386. Thank you, Amstrad. Um, and no, I'm not going to go into a list. And but I've always been sort of towards that FPS genre. I've I'm a real big fan of it. I mean Battlefield 4, even though I fucking hate EA, fuck you EA for having the damn Mass Effect license. I've I've always been a first person shooter. And the COD series sort of as everyone knows went into a bit of a decline. I mean I've i I've still played it all the way through. I played every single Call of Duty, but for me when I hit Advanced Warfare I was like mm. So I needed something different and we, we went through a few games, Shadow of Mordor, and then obviously my gaming branched out like I used to do when I was in my early 20s oh so long ago. And we discovered Witcher, uh, Witcher 3 to be precise, and it was one of them sort of randoms that we were sort of umming and ahhing about and a mate seen it and was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I bought it and it consumed me. Not many games do that for me in a sense that I was excited, so excited for the DLC to come out that I just... <laughs> I just had to have it straight away. So I introduced it to another friend of mine, or he's he sort of mentioned it to me, then I bought it, and then I, because I got it, he got it, and he's been, he plays nothing but Call of Duty. I think he's, he was a level two on trophies. And since he bought Witcher, it consumed him, he didn't even touch COD. So as a special bonus video, and an apology for being away so long, I thought I'd do an unboxing vid. And guess how many of these you're gonna see? Because I don't buy any gaming merchandise because I have to trade everything in because I my child consumes my life, but I love him. So, a D box fit. Da -da -da -da. So, today I've just got back from game, I've just took the cellophane off literally. And the reason why I didn't do it on the video is because, in my amazing prowess, I thought the video was recording. So, I did about four minutes and then went, Oh, shit, I'm not recording. So, I've took the cellophane off. Second question, why is it, this isn't, but why is it you can buy a £110 game and it's wrapped in a bit of plastic? You buy a £2 child car and it's screwed to the cardboard with fucking plastic and the smallest screws ever. So, back to the point. Yeah, I am really like this in real life. It, like I say, my chat, the pub is always open. It's not the pub. It, I normally call it the pub. You can add me on PS... Um, N J W hash 55 is it hash line? No, it's not hash, it's JW dash 55, not hash. Sorry, quick edit, pretend I just like deleted that and the screen's just gone JW dash 55. Um, but I won't be doing any more Facebook um, requests or processing them for obvious reasons. So, the quick deboxing that's gone on for four minutes. This is the Witcher 3 DLC. This is what I've got, it's the limited edition. So let's have a look. It's a back of a Gwen card and it's the size of a VCR, really. Well, no, it's just over the size of a game case. So this is what I've got. And I would bring it down and all that, but I deliberately put the camera here so you could see my gamer at work sign that my missus fucking hates. So let's have a look what I've got. Well, I've got 
my DLC code. I'm sure you want me to show you the bag. Oh, pause, pause, pause. I would have used it anyway, even if you've just like tried to do that. What else have we got? Rod Gwent guide, which is like just an A4 pamphlet. I was expecting it to like look old or something or okay. We've got a warning thingy in case, I don't know, you chew the cardboard. Before using this product, please visit the settings menu on your PlayStation 4 system. It's a pack of cards! What? Always play in a well lit environment, take regular breaks if you experience dizziness. It, it's a deck of cards! I don't know why the Scouse sort of accent up thingy came there, but good, thanks for that. Useful. So let's have a look. Well, I was expecting that because I watched a really boring video of it. The brrr, counters, all oh, pop out cardboard. Yeah, great. But no, to be fair, I mean, it's only a five, this is only five pound more than the, the digital DLC, I think it's 13.99. This was 19.99, I believe. Five pound deposit brought in, yeah. So, cardboard counter. So, bear in mind, on top of the actual DLC, I've only paid an extra five for this. So, yeah. But let's have a look at the deck of cards. Well, they're big ish. I would say five inches ish. And duh, 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 who are they? No, it's not the realms. Yes, not the realms. So, I'm not going to do both decks because the video will get long and boring, and you're probably already turned off, and I might just be talking to myself, which is fine. I'm really not this crazy. So, let's have a look what we got. Well, I've got a spy card there. Have a look. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, that's nice. So they've come a little bit jumbled up, which is kind of what I wanted. So apparently I've got 74 cards, but what Mick was saying was, it appeared they only had two leader cards, which is incredible. I will show you a card in a minute. I'm just having a really, 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 really quick flick through. One, two, three, four, five. Well, how long was he? Oh, I've even got the cow card. <laughs> so, and here we have real live Gwent cards. Now, the detail on them is fantastic. Let's take the most famous one. Lord Commander of the Law, clear any weather effects. I believe he's the first leader you get. So this is one of the cards. And as you can see, bear in mind I'm on a gray, slightly grainy picture because it's at the front. The detail is fantastic. And it is exactly the same as the game. The cards are they're not the cheapest card in the world, you know. They're they're decent. They're not they won't last long if you keep them out of the box, but and that's it. So I'm hoping you're gonna see a tech video out of me on Wednesday. I'm going to look at, try and do for you PlayStation 4 controllers, how to reset, how to reset your analogs and all that jargon. I'm thinking that's my next video anyway, because this, the, what I want to do for my network series is I want to start from the very beginning. So I'm going to wind all my settings back and then do it series. We're going to go through piece by piece, port forward, DMZ in, static and dynamic IP addresses and everything else. So that was it. It's nice to be back. Loves and kisses. Big man hooks. Peace.